In this view, we will be demonstrating the AP upper ribs. The AP ribs above the diaphragm should be performed with the patient standing at the upright bucky or lying on a table. A 72 inch source to image distance and no tube angulation. There are many ways in which you can take radiographs of the ribs. Textbook says that if the injury is anterior, then you should put that injury closer to the IR, so therefore we would do PAs. If the injury is posterior, we want that injury closer to the IR, so we would do APs. So I'm going today to demonstrate an injury that is posterior. I'm going to take a a radiograph AP above the diaphragm. Then I'm also going to take one below the diaphragm. Then I'm going to roll him to the affected side. When it is an AP rotation and we roll, if this injury is here to the left, we would roll him and keeping the affected side to the IR so he would be an LPO. If the injury is in the front, would you please turn around for me? If the injury is in front, you are PA and you would pull away. So if the injury is here on the right, you would pull away and that would demonstrate the right ribs. Turn back around for me. So we are going to demonstrate an injury that is posterior on the left-hand side. All right, so we're gonna start off with the IR placed in the upright bucky and it is in lengthwise. We are going to center the IR, the top margin of the IR, at a level an inch and a half to two inches above his shoulders. The central ray is actually in between the juglier notch and the xiphoid and it's going to be halfway in between. We're gonna place your hands on your hips. And we're gonna roll your elbows forward just slightly and that helps move those scapulas a little more lateral so we can see and visualize the ribs a little better. I have a right marker on the right side and the patient is going to take in a deep breath on inspiration and hold their breath and the exposure is made. A diagnostic AP upper rib radiograph should be free of rotation and motion. Include the first through 10th bilateral posterior ribs in their entirety. In this view, we will be demonstrating the AP lower ribs. The AP lower ribs should be performed with the patient standing at the upright bucky or lying on a table with a 40 inch source to image distance and no tube angulation. For an AP below the diaphragm, I'm going to bring down my central ray and the central ray is at the xiphoid and the lower rib halfway in between and we're gonna use the mid-sagittal plane. So I'm going to bring my central ray down. I'm gonna keep the mid-sagittal plane. Can you step over for the side for me just a minute? and come back to the midline. This time we want to use expiration because we are below the diaphragm. We're going to place his arms out to the side and we will be seeing the, the ribs below the diaphragm. So please take in a big deep breath and blow your breath all the way out. Now stop breathing and the exposure is made. A diagnostic AP lower rib radiograph should be free of rotation and motion and include the 8th through the 12th bilateral ribs in their entirety. In this view, we will be demonstrating the AP upper oblique ribs. The AP upper oblique ribs should be performed with the patient standing at the upright bucky or lying on a table with a 72 inch source to image distance and no tube angulation. For the oblique views of the ribs, we are again going to do above diaphragm and below diaphragm. As I mentioned as I started this video, well, the injury is left and it is posterior. So I'm going to roll him to the affected side, which would be an LPO. I'm going to roll him 45 degrees. And the central ray again is at the juglier notch to the xiphoid in between. 
Then because we're centering to the left part of the chest, I want to use the mid sagittal plane and the lateral side of the body and I'm going to center that in between. All right, his arm is just going to come out like so. I have a left marker on the left side. So the patient will take this on inspiration. So please take in a big deep breath and hold your breath and the exposure is made. A diagnostic AP upper oblique rib radiograph should be free of motion. Demonstrate proper rotation and include the first through the 10th posterior ribs in their entirety. In this view, we will be demonstrating the AP lower oblique ribs. The AP lower oblique ribs should be performed with the patient standing at the upright bucky or lying on a table with a 40 inch source to image distance and no tube angulation. All right, now we're going to do the blow diaphragm. The patient's gonna remain just where he is. I'm going to now center like I did before. We're gonna find the xiphoid and the lower rib and it's halfway in between. And we're still mid sagittal plane to the lateral side of the body. This will demonstrate the ribs that are beneath the diaphragm. We're gonna do this on expiration. So the patient will take in a big deep breath, blow your breath all the way out, hold your breath, don't move, and the exposure is made. A diagnostic AP lower oblique rib radiograph should be free of motion. Demonstrate proper rotation and include the eighth through the 12th ribs in their entirety. If you enjoyed this video, I encourage you to visit CloverLearning.com and explore our robust selection of video-based courses, certification exam prep question banks, and continuing education resources. Lastly, please remember to hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can stay up to date on our latest videos.